Today we are going to South Burlington to the studio of artist Cynthia Cagle. We're also meeting up with storyteller Marine Paris Meyer. It just feels good to be able to contribute to human connection <laughs> that I know we're all desperately <laughs> missing and needing as we like reopen. A poem by Farine has inspired a mural. Yes, so the mural is called um, Farine Existing While Black. It is a celebration of Juneteenth, but also highlights black people in this country and BIPOC people in this country are still being oppressed in, in very violent and traumatic ways. My black community is exhausted beyond words, running on fumes, masking our pain, giving from cups that are depleted. That poem, manifested. That is me. Like this mural is so me. I'm moving through life where I feel invisible or hyper visible, right? I'm just trying to be more in the middle, right? She's just trying to exist while black, just like some people are trying to jog while black. Some people are trying to bird watch while black. I had the opportunity to be contacted by Tanya Telemonte, who is a Mexican artist in our community. Did she just say she's a Mexican artist? Because my best friend Cynthia is a Mexican artist. And she thought of me, you know, she thought of me collaborating with Tanya and it all just happened. And it was such an amazing, magical connection. One, two, one, two. It works. <laughs> we also caught up with Farine at the inaugural All Heart in the Park storytelling event in Burlington City Hall Park. I want stories to haunt you, but in a good way. Every Tuesday, take a pause. Deposit into yourself. Show up, I got you. Just by a show of hands, who is aware of what Loving Day is? Woo! Oh my God! <laughs> I create heartfelt moments for folks to find connection through sharing our narratives and affirming other people's lived experiences, whether it's in classes, workshops, sometimes it's combined with food and potlucks, whatever it may be. But I always have felt we all have stories that are worthy of telling. Freen is just blowing my mind. I mean, I've known her for so long and she's on fire. I don't expect everyone will relate exactly to what it means to maybe move through this world in a black body or what it's like to be a mother or when I talk about mental health. Take a risk on love. One love. Wait, when I was in sixth grade, <laughs> that was the first time a teacher tapped me to speak publicly. That's how I fell into storytelling. When I took a class at the Flynn, I was trying to tend to my mental health, you know? And so I will share with people that storytelling saved my life. And so that's how All Heart Inspirations kind of got birth out of. And storytelling has happened on sailboats with Whistling Man and in the Flynn space um, through the Flynn Center. And it's gonna happen in the park. And it's just anywhere can be a story. It's just a matter of having maybe someone to have that shared collective experience with you. And I'm doing this because you're for real. And I'm your daughter and you love on me all the time. And this is my turn to love on you. And I was like, Melody for president. Being able to see her just blossom as this business owner, this Haitian woman of color. And she's actually touched me in ways that, even though I've known her for so long, I've blossomed into what I want to do, which is, is art. I've always been an artist, and I've always kind of put that aside. Both of us as women of color are partnered with white men, and we have these multiracial like families. So there's a side of me that I'm always carrying this racial trauma with me. There's days when I'm going to be affected by something that has happened in this country or, or the way I was treated in a, in a store downtown. To have those people that know they have your back and they, they're willing to listen and willing to go there with you with those conversations. We love to like keep repeating the fact like Vermont is so white, but we exist, right? Like I exist, BIPOC community exists. I fell in love with the nature and like the outdoors and I went apple picking for the first time at 30. I love that it allows me to be a little bit braver than what I would have been back in the Boston area where I grew up. Like I want Juneteenth actually to be the hottest date of the summer because it is. It's actually celebrating when all of us were, were gifted freedom. Even though we thought that we were free, 
from as blacks from slavery, right? Like there's a whole group of blacks further, you know, south that they haven't even heard the updates. And a chance for people of color to really celebrate together, which is an amazing feeling of just to be around other people that look like you. So I'm really looking forward to just that experience again, because we don't get that often here in Vermont. The same way that we're honoring July 4th, Memorial Day, some of these other things, this should be right up there. It's anchored in black liberation and all of us have a responsibility to know this day, to amplify it, to celebrate it. If we move through this summer after Juneteenth and some of these things, and there's not this much needed shift in the school systems, in the colleges, and, and in our businesses and organizations, I don't know what's left to give folk because we can't keep having people die in order for you to have your conscious reawaken and ignite. The mural will be up for a year and the poem will be there for a year. So I really hope it just gets people thinking. Instead of saying we can do better, like you could actually do something. <laughs> you know? Sky's the limit with everything being in person now. Like, I'm like, y'all gave me a park every week? <laughs> it's on. <laughs> you can see Farine existing while black in the lane between BCA and City Hall Park in Burlington. You can also catch up with Farine in City Hall Park in Burlington on Tuesdays for All Heart in the Park. And we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Take care, everyone. How is it watching your eyes get worse? <laughs> well, we go back and forth about how I feel. <laughs> Like, so I'm like, oh yeah.